Okay, I am back. I think I'm ready to continue this. We're not even halfway through, so let's get started. Bum, 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 dum. Oh, shaking the headphones. These like muffled vocals. I love this man. That beeping almost feels like like a hospital beep. Like someone's on life support. Oh, how? I've never heard bass actually rattle the headphones like that. The clipping too. I mean, it's rare that you hear clipping on a song and you actually enjoy it, you know, but it's it's there for the added effect. I mean, obviously. That was actually like a spiritual experience, man. Is it even a question? That was fantastic. That was, it felt like a little bit of a brighter track. Maybe it's just cause I'm fresh back into the album after taking that break, but the, the chord changes and the, the notes felt a little bit brighter. That again, that massive, headphone shaking bass i want to listen to that in a car i feel like it's it would be absolutely insane because even just in the headphones the headphones were literally shaking again that kind of muffled speaking was really trippy it didn't feel as depressing as the other tracks but it was still just as entertaining and produced just as well and just super unique as well don't get me wrong it was still still pretty depressing but not on the level of those those other ones So unsettling. Trippy. Bro, it sounds like some sort of alien life force made this. Hmm. I really picked up. Oh, to be honest, I was feeling kind of mid on that track for the first couple minutes, but that was actually maybe. like a spiritual experience. It was really good. It really picked up. I thought when it, it had that subtle little, that quick little break, and then it went back into the heaviness, it really picked up towards the end there. Uh, definitely the most like angsty track, I feel like the most angry on this album. The, the rest of the album has kind of felt like just this deep pit of sadness and sorrow, but that kind of felt like finally letting that anger and that aggression come out. It felt like a pretty standard, straightforward track compared to the rest of the album. Had ha elements of, I feel like, metal in there, hard rock, shoegaze. It was pretty good. That was pretty good. It was pretty different from a lot of the album, in my opinion, but it still delivered a pretty powerful and strong emotion. So yeah, let's keep going. Oh. This second half has a... I feel like it has a very different sound. It's not nearly as depressing, I feel like. Again with the beeps, they had that in a previous track. It's kind of reminded me of uh, the Glow Part 2. A lot softer of a track, but it's still it still feels angsty, it feel, still feels down. 
Okay. Scrap what I just said. Oh. Come on. Woo! Yeah. just went from 0 to 1,000 real quick. And now we're back. Oh. Oh. My freaking heart, man. Masterpiece. That was actually like a spiritual experience. Literal masterpiece. One of my favorites. It started off with that soft guitar. I thought it was going to be a more mellow kind of track, but again, it went from zero to 1,000 insanely, insanely quick. When everything heavy came in, first off, the headphones were shaking like crazy again. I felt like I was going insane again. Like, I was just picturing like literally the world ending. I just like, it just gave me fiery, world-crumbling vibes, you know? This is so good, man. Let's keep going. I love the beeps, man. The beeps are so cool. Really distinct drum, drum sounds, too. That snare is so strange. But I love it. I have a feeling this one's gonna make me, make me feel insane. I got the shivery wivers. Shout out turning the tables. It just feels like waves, just waves of terror, I guess. Just panning across the headphones. Woo! Whoa. Oh, you hear that high frequency? That was actually like Masterpiece a again. Man. We're gonna keep going. They just know how- Oh, jeez! Give me a second to breathe, man. Oh! It's hard. So visceral. That snare is just like repeatedly punching someone. Ah, uh, it's obvious. That was actually like a spiritual experience, man. Every track, except did I give one? I think I gave one a mid. That track was giving me death grip vibes, death grips vibes. It felt super industrial, especially when those higher end synths came in. That's what really reminded me of death grips. Maybe something like off of Bottomless Pit. That was a headbanger, aggressive, one of the more aggressive cuts on here. And it was just massive in the headphones. Like I said, that snare too, just, just feels like just, it feels violent, you know? It just has that visceral feeling. This, like I said, this second half doesn't feel feel nearly as depressing though, for some reason. Oh, just as I say that, hits us with that line. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Oh <laughs> ah! I'm gonna have a panic attack. It's so distorted. But it's beautiful. This 
feels freeing. Actually, like a spiritual experience, man. I'm done. I'm done trying to explain my feelings. This album is just fast track. This. And they just go into the most beautiful guitar passage you've ever heard. And then they that! With, oh my god! Could you hear the reverb on that note? Listen to that! I'm scared. I'm gonna get jump scared up. I just ripped my headphones out. Giving me anxiety, man. That was actually like a spiritual experience, man. Okay. I... I don't know what I just experienced. What I experienced with that last track, I feel like is somewhat similar to the last scene of the movie, The Lighthouse. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's not like a super unknown film, but it's a great film. One of the characters 
goes up to the lighthouse and it's not explained what he sees in the light or what it is but you see his reaction and his reaction is just the face of someone and the scream of someone who just saw the most mind-bending thing possible like brain breaking and i feel like i kind of just experienced that maybe not to that extent that that guy did in that movie it just felt like being i don't know i was just imagining in my head all these like different freaking i don't oh all these colors all just kind of swirling together in some sort of i can't i can't even really describe it because it was my mind was mad i don't know man it's so crazy. This is what happened with uh, the Godspeed album. This is just the best music there is to ex exist. Like in terms of just blowing your mind and just confusing you and making you feel emotions you never even knew you had, that's what this music does best, man. If you would have showed me, if I would have listened to this music like a couple years ago before I started really getting into music, I would have been so confused I would have thought it was probably the worst thing ever. I would have thought, it's just, what? It's just a bunch of noise. It doesn't sound like anything, but it's so good. It's so good. You can hear chords in there. You can hear melody. You can hear harmony. You can, oh, and just the soundscape, the, how massive it is. And I feel like I would have enjoyed it even more if I didn't have to take a break. But even with that break, this was so good. It terrified me at some points. It depressed me at some points. It made me feel like I was having a pan attack, panic attack at some points. It made me feel like I was ascending at some points. It was bright at some points, especially at some points in that last track there. Just the scope of the music feels larger than life. This is about as close to perfection as you can get. I don't know how many times I'm going to listen to this in the future because it's it put me through a lot. <laughs> like, I was not expecting it to hit me this hard. There's some Daughters influence, I feel like, from their album, You Won't Get You Want. There was some Microphones influence, The Glow Part 2, more specifically. There was definitely some Godspeed influence. I don't know how I'm going to function after this. I don't know how I'm going to edit this video because it was a lot just listening to this. So having to listen to it again while editing is going to be... I don't know if I can take that much emotion and power and just insanity. So yeah, shout out to uh, this band for breaking me. All right, peace out.